It is the Riot Podcast. Good Wednesday, November 9th to ya. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, Hudson. How day? You know, like the results of the election last night? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I like your style. Coming in hot this morning. That is a negative. Yeah, no one's talking even, about any of that. We didn't even co- it didn't even come up on the show. <laughs> no one wants to yeah, hear it. Yeah, we I talked about it in the news. Well, that's Yeah, good. you did. That's right. That's I think right. that's the right spot. Because even if it's good or bad for whatever you were for or against, everybody just wants a break because everybody else will be talking about that yeah, today. That's right. That and the Powerball controversy. Uh-huh, which we do get to today, right? Yeah, that we, we can do talk, talk about. Powerball. Did you play? I did not play. Mm, I'm just can't. not much of a winner, you know. I don't. I don't have faith that I'm going to win. You don't. You don't believe you're a winner. I don't think I'm a winner in that sense. Why do you have an attitude hey, like that? It's harder to I be just, a winner in the Powerball sense. Yeah, but in life, I mean, my day to day life, I'm obviously a winner. I mean, look at me. <laughs> but outside of that, <laughs> so Powerball wise, I'm not a, a lottery winner. You don't think you're a lucky guy? <laughs> See, there's people that are convinced they're going to win the lottery. I'm not one of those people. Like people that play it every single time, like they feel like they have a chance. Uh-huh. And if that's well, you, I'm sorry. Like uh, the more like, the happen. more you play, the more likely you are to win. <laughs> yeah, and I just I'm <laughs> in not a, a very winner. Very infinitesimal sense. I'm not a lottery winner. Yeah. I know I'm not going to win it. Unfortunately, because you're not playing. Yep, exactly. <laughs> well, does it make it into the podcast? I think it does. We it do does. talk about the controversy that's now from the announcement yesterday of the Powerball winner, and uh, I don't think any controversy surrounding the guy who sold the ticket. Uh, he got a million dollars. And then uh, we also talked about uh, hitting the snooze button, whether it's good or bad for you. And have you guys ever had it where you like you've set an alarm for the middle of the night? For the middle of the night? Yeah. For what reason? To like wake up and see that you have like two hours left to sleep. Oh, no. no. You've never done that? No, I do no. like the 10 or 15 minutes early before yeah. I'm supposed to get up, but not like hours. See, my- sometimes, oh, I was just going to say, sometimes I'll set an alarm for like, you know, something you have to check in the middle of the night. Uh, and I always sleep through those. Like, why? Really? What are you checking? I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> the laundry? Come up in the middle of the night. I, don't I, don't know. I don't know. I can't think of now, but I just know. Are you smoking you know something? I, you know why like, yeah. outside, like meat? You know why I can't remember what it was? Because I slept through the alarm. You so I didn't sleeping. check whatever it was, and it slipped by. Oh, now, I remember if you go back in the day, like, if you had to get up early to order a new phone or something. Sure. Like, some things would go on that. sale, like, 3 a.m., and so, like, because it's specific time, or so, you know, like, stuff like that, so. Yeah, some of my friends, they'll set alarms for, like, if they have to be up, like let's say they have to wake up at seven, they'll set an alarm for like two a.m. That'll wake them up just so they can see that they have like five more hours. Uh, it doesn't sleep. make any sense. See, You're but, just disrupting your sleep. But you think about it though, if you like, whenever the best time to wake up is when you think you've been sleeping for a really long time, but then you you've only been sleeping for like an hour, and you wake up and you look at the clock and you're like, wow. I still have six hours left to sleep, and it feels so good. Well, I think the problem is I don't even clock in at a total of six hours yeah. every mm-hmm. night. That could so be the issue. Uh-huh. I think we need to just have more. Your friends are sleeping too long just <laughs> <They> in <are>. general. <laughs> Congratulations to them. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, we talk about that. We also talk about some of the things you start, have started to like doing less as you have aged. I think that was a depressing segment. I kind of liked it. I mean, it was funny. I think you, I like guess it, like you, you like can the be rain. the judge of that. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> what, why don't we switch it around? Let's, why don't we think of one thing that we uh, like more now that we're getting older? No, why don't we just do that tomorrow? You want to save it for yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, save it for tomorrow. It's too good of a question, isn't it? Why don't we it? just it say, hey, maybe around the same time we realized that we were bringing a bit negative yeah. to the game, and now we can find some positive stuff. I already so. have a great answer. <laughs> I, have the, I have the perfect save answer. Is it going to make you sound like an old man? No. Oh, okay, good. It's going to just fit. <laughs> As it always does. Well, tell us if there's something that's negative and then get ready for tomorrow's podcast and feel free to tell or go ahead and just text if you have something that you actually do like as you get older. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can welcome to text at 877-2-RADIO-U and then we'll feature you in tomorrow's podcast. Also in tomorrow's podcast, some kind of donuts. We'll be eating them. Yeah, we'll do a food fight for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind as well. I'm excited. You're going to have to go get them. Well, I'm still excited. <laughs> that means I get to leave work and eat donuts. Perfect. It's the riot. Bye, guys. See you guys. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Now, uh, located about 48 minutes outside the center of Oklahoma City, you would find a small town called Chickasha in Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, and here's what they are doing to celebrate the holidays. They are erecting, in fact, they've uh, built it already, a 50-foot-tall recreation of the leg lamp from A Christmas Story. Oh, how tall? 50 feet. Wow. 
<laughs> well, to be very clear, the leg lamp itself is 40 feet, but it rests atop of a, a box, a stand that, of course, says Fragile. <laughs> uh, and that is there, and they are uh, not just leaving that up for the Christmas season. It's going to become a permanent fixture of uh, the skyline of Chickasha, <laughs> Oklahoma. Well, I don't know. Are we proud of this or not? They're proud. So they are proud. What's the connection? Do they just, does the town really like it or why would they choose that? Believe it or not, isn't there all the Christmas is, story like Cleveland or? Yeah, it is Cleveland. But there is a, some might say, tenuous connection between uh, Chickasha, Oklahoma and the leg lamp specifically from a Christmas story. Uh, there is a native of Chickasha, Oklahoma. His name was Nolan James. He passed away recently, uh, I think at the age of 89 years old, but he, at least this is his claim, that he created a lamp when he was, uh, when he was a teacher at Oklahoma University in the School of Visual Arts. Yeah. Uh, he created a lamp that he believes was the prototype for the lamp that they came up with for the movie. Like the inspiration? Yeah. Or, oh. If you scroll down, you'll, you'll see a picture. Now, it's not exactly the same, which makes the connection even more... That's all right. Uh, ...tenuous. But uh, it's a... It's got both it's legs. It's two legs, <laughs> uh, dressed slightly differently, but still with the hose and uh, the pumps and whatever. And uh, The shoes, yeah. Yeah, and then it's got... Uh, and then it's it's a lamp. Uh, with the bottom half is two legs of a mannequin. Gosh, imagine and he if he believes you... that he he believes he created that, and then they saw that for the movie, and then they made it for the movie uh, in their own way. And word about that has gotten out, and uh, it's become a point of pride for the town of Chickasha. I don't know if you didn't like the movie and you don't like the lamp. The fact that that's staying up the whole year. Uh huh. What's the one glowing? Uh, the ga- is it the Gavle goat um, somewhere in another country? Is that they, Sweden? Yeah, they put up the straw like goat every year. Yeah, and then eventually it just became a <laughs> an opportunity to try to burn uh-huh, the sure. goat every year, yeah. even though they would try to save it. Uh-huh. So that I must be coming up too. I wonder <laughs> oh. if for this small town, will it become a uh, opportunity to try to destroy the leg lamp? Well, I know that. You and I aren't fans of a Christmas story, but I think we underestimate. I mean, they would put it on TBS or USA or whatever channel it was for 24 hours straight on Christmas Day. If you hated it and you have to drive past that every day, Uh it's going to go one day. Uh, Someone's going to do something. It is. uh, I, I was thinking, like, it's one thing to have it up now heading into Christmas. But when you see this in March, oh, you'll get it's going to have a way different, way different connotation to it. It's like 110 out, and you drive past this thing. Yeah, it's not Christmas. And I don't know if you're going to feel so much local pride as uh, anymore as uh, and all the tourists that are coming in, which I'm sure the businesses will be proud of, but they'll be happy with. But the the locals will be like, oh, great, another Christmas story <laughs> fan. <laughs> They're here great. for the leg. Oh, great, yeah, here for the leg. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know what? Uh, dang it, they're proud of a of a of a member of their town. I can't see, and that's a rare thing these days. That's true. I can't see if they put this in the article, but I was just curious how much did it cost for them to mm. build it, and who paid for it? Uh, you don't want to know. Is that a town thing? Yeah. <laughs> well, we we didn't pay for it. That's the good news. This is Radio U's worst of the riot. But first, you have to sit through us talking about uh, sleep. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple. I got a couple things about sleep here. So uh, one, we'll just do this really quick. You guys, how much do you snooze? How much do you hit the snooze button? Um, well, I have two alarms set, so I just go to the second alarm. Okay. So it makes me feel like I'm sleeping in. But the so first alarm, it doesn't alarm, count as hitting the count, snooze button, even like, though it's functionally the same. Yeah, but I don't have an alarm to like hit the snooze. What about you? You, I can tell you hit the snooze several <laughs> times. I hit the snooze. I never hit the snooze, but I have like four alarms set. Yeah. Okay, so same thing. And just so I wait. just turn off. My alarm goes off. I turn it off. My alarm goes off. I turn it off over and over again until it's the point where I have to get up. So how many times does your alarm go off before you actually get up? Usually four times. Four, four times. times. So you would think that's bad, right? I feel like we all have, uh, we've come to accept, we've heard enough times that hitting the snooze button is bad for you. But there was a recent... Uh, study from Notre Dame, like Notre Dame, like the University of Notre Dame. Yeah. And uh, basically, 
they tracked a bunch of people for a long time with their sleep cycles and snooze buttons and whatever, and they can't find any meaningful correlation between anything. Oh, why so, it'd be bad? Yeah, so oh. uh, maybe it's not so bad after all. They were uh, trying to have an argument to show that it would actually disturb your sleep to keep having four <laughs> alarms. <laughs> four alarms, and that would not be good, but there's no real link. Yeah, so I guess that's good news. That's uh, good. Now, that's the good news. Now, here's the bad news that particularly I wanted to raise this concern to Isaiah, is that uh, your sleep schedule, if it's different on the weekends than it is during the week, which I think for almost everybody it is, right? Uh, that's bad. That's oh, really bad. Oh, sure. They Why have is that found- so bad? <laughs> because it's uh, too much for your body. It's basically l- like you're giving yourself jet lag when you do that. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It makes sense, right? It's uh, So they, they found that people, like you have a body clock and a social clock. Uh, and so your body clock is used to the week, the weekdays, and because that's what you do more often. Well, say, call it what they're saying it is. Well, it's driven by professional obligations. obligations. So you have a professional body clock, uh-huh. and then you have the weekend one. So you're forced into having your body clock, but then your social clock is what how you're running on the weekends. Yeah. And obviously, uh, like, it's not a surprise, I guess, that those would be different, but it is a problem that they are different because your body then... You're, you're throwing your clocks all out of rhythm, all out of sync. So I guess what is the answer? Scheduling all of your social fun the same as you, the same time as work sure. on the weekends? You can't do Impossible. You have, to, you have to like hang out with your friends at 6 a.m. on Saturday. But it's dangerous Saturday. if you don't. You yeah. have to do it. But I've been doing it for so long now. My body is, so it's too know, late I for must you? have adjusted. No, that's not how it works. My body must have it's adjusted. It's too late. But I mean, I, we can uh, point at the, the plank in your eye, but we also have our own <laughs> issues. It's just that Nikki and I, we don't have social obligations or anything as much. We just sleep in. At least well, that's what I do. When you first read the article, you're like, oh, it's because you probably sleep less on the weekends. They're, they're not saying that's actually it. They're just saying that even if you get more sleep, like maybe you sleep in more on the weekends, yeah. your body clock is off so that when you go into your professional week sleep pattern, you're losing sleep because you're trying to adjust to the less sleep you might get while working. Mm. And so because of that, they say that can lead to depression, um, issues like just, you know, normal sleep problem issues. Well, yeah, that not, sounds about right. You're not depressed, are you? I wouldn't say I'm depressed, no. Right, well, but then. I am awful sad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't say for sure that's depressed. Yes. I guess uh, what we should do is switch the show to a later time. So, Isaiah, so, you know, we don't want Isaiah getting depressed. I don't know if there's a way to fix it. <laughs> I don't know if there's late. a way. But they're just saying that if you ever wonder during the week when you're extra groggy, does it have issues? Maybe. Blame the weekend. Blame the weekend yeah. and your sleep patterns Blame being different friends and the fun you're having or you blame work it's one of the two <laughs> this is the riot radio you well, on your tiktok though that's you, not you, private you yeah. do a lot of watching well you don't do a lot of posting but you do a lot of watching hey i've started posting oh, i've yeah? done uh the last two are have done pretty good oh yeah yeah i haven't watched them well, I didn't know you posted. How well, nice you is, did. I did hear you posted that one. How it nice never came is that? up for me. I posted one uh, from Trick or Treat from Halloween. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. The traditional one. It the... never came up on my feed though. Well, fix it. But see, it's the algorithm. It's telling me not to watch it for some reason. Well, now you know to go watch. Yeah. Uh, that is that. That is the thing. Also, is that I haven't checked in on TikTok, or I don't as much. I, to be really honest. I only check in on TikTok after I post a TikTok. Yeah, when you post something. Uh, my interest in TikTok, in a way, only goes as far as uh, other people's interest in me. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I'm hoping here, have you seen the TikTok of the Cheeto tomb? I have not. You haven't <laughs> in all your TikTok watching. This has not come up The for algorithm me. didn't tell you to watch this one. Nope. Uh, and I we love have a guy Cheetos. Who, uh, he went ahead and over the course of, he says it took him four months and about $1,250 to do this, he built a 3,000-pound tomb mm-hmm. to encase a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos uh, that he wants to have buried, I believe, for 1,000 years or 10,000 years. Yeah. 10,000 years. In this tomb. In a tomb. It's a big time capsule tomb Cheeto sarco- sarcophagus. 
for a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. He said his job, uh, he works as an animator, and this is his side hobby. <laughs> it says he likes to do weird meme art projects. It counts. To, uh, to fill his time, and this filled a lot of time. Again, he says four months to do this. Uh, between the concrete that he needed to, he to mixed. mix together and then the the resin that he encased the Cheetos in to make sure that that bag and everything is going to be preserved for 10,000 years, at so least as far as he knows. took him four months, $1,250 in materials. It's like a crypt of some sort. So is the, because I have still have to watch the TikTok, is it to make it like... Thousand years from now, when they're yeah, like, so it's preserved. what happened? Like we we really love Cheetos, like it was a god. That's what some people are saying <laughs> is that uh, people when they whenever they open this years and years from now, they're gonna wonder. They're gonna believe that we mummified the Cheetos because they were you know sacred to us, yeah, and we worshipped them. Which you know it's not too far off actually. Uh, I do worship Cheetos. But just not in a tomb have sort a, of way. I have a great reverence for them. So the location of the crypt for the Cheetos tomb is a secret. Uh, he had to buy the land or like he had a Dang. deal. He is in the Pacific Northwest and he wanted to find someone who would let him bury something in the property. Uh -huh. But he was forthcoming in that it wasn't a body. <laughs> and a nice couple said, hey, they wanted to be a part of the art project. So they allowed him to use some of the land Man. so technically no one except him and them know where the tomb of the cheeto is i do hope that this stays buried there for a really long time oh i It'll know be... no one ruin it by going yeah, to go find but it the sad thing would be uh that like the best case scenario is that this is opened a thousand years from now and people are confused by it but then we won't be around to see that, so we won't get to enjoy it. We won't know Maybe how we, the results we are. We won't get to enjoy the confusion, and we won't get to enjoy the Cheetos that are entombed inside. Unless we find a way to live another to, thousand years. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. That's that's the reason why I'm going to live that long. I hope that, I hope Cheetos are like long gone, yeah. and they get to open, and they're like, whoa, yeah. what is this? Like the sardine can in Futurama. <laughs> yeah. Don't say yeah. You don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, no, I love that part of Futurama. <laughs> yeah. Hudson, Nikki, The Riot, on Radio U. It is uh, question time with Isaiah, uh, the Isaiah segment of the show where Isaiah comes up with a question. What do you got? Today's question. <laughs> <laughs> what are you starting to enjoy less or like less as you continue to grow older? Oh, what's something mm. you now enjoy? Mm -hmm. There's something you don't enjoy anymore. Oh. You don't enjoy it anymore. Okay. Like you're enjoying it less You've and lost, less as time ages on. You've mm. lost that love and feeling for it. I guess I'm going to need some examples of what people think. <laughs> the first one that came to mind to me, I got two. Uh, well, I guess it, it kind of goes under the same umbrella. Sugar. Yeah. Like, it's not that I don't still enjoy a nice cake or, you know, a full sugar, full high fructose corn syrup soda or a you know, candy bar from time to time. But it's just, you know... When I was uh, in my teenage years, you just <laughs> knock that stuff out. Cake for breakfast. Love sugar. Cake for breakfast, a 12-pack of Mountain Dew <laughs> for the day. To wash it down. And then uh, Snickers for dessert. And now that is not me whatsoever. It's zero sugar soda, if any. And I really like cake. Like if somebody's birthday comes up, I'll have a slice. But after that, it doesn't even tempt me. You yeah. Know? Like we have break, uh, cake in the break room. Doesn't even tempt me. Anymore. Really? There no. has to be a Doesn't... little bit of temptation no. there. I mean, if it's really good, occasionally we get like a really good one, and then, but like just the average cake, it doesn't do a lot for me. So that's that's where I that's what I think of. I've, I've grown out of as uh, as I've aged. Okay, that's a good choice. What do you guys got? Uh, for me, rain. <laughs> rain. <laughs> So weird. I freaking hate the rain. <laughs> did you but you like, like that when you were younger? young? I did. I liked it a whole lot more than I do right now. I didn't Where mind is it. That? Listen, Why is that? you're you're 24, Isaiah. Like I hate when it rains. <laughs> that sounds so very grumpy. I don't old know man. if there's anything I hate more than the rain. Why do you hate the rain? That's... Because when it's raining, I gotta walk outside. I'm gonna get wet. It just puts a damper on my mood. I when I go home from work, I'm just gonna sit inside the whole time. I can't be enjoying the outdoors. 
Uh, so rain, also the cold, that ranks there as number two. You have a porch? You have a porch? <laughs> like a covered porch? I have like a little covered area, but not like something I would ever sit uh, on. So yeah, that's what I would, I like when it rains and it's like the right temperature. You sit outside on the yeah. covered porch. And if it rains, then that means my dog, Jim, he's going to go outside. He's going to get wet. He's going to smell worse. He's going to uh, come back inside wet. I hate the rain. Do you think I that's about you it. getting older? Or? I think it's about me getting older, you yeah. think so? I don't think I minded hey, it as much Isaiah back in the day. Isaiah changed when he got 24. Like yes. he, he was totally a different guy at that point. You really uh, left your youth behind. Up a lot, yeah. I hate the rain, <laughs> women and their problems. I hate that too. I hate that a lot. Uh-oh. Uh, those are some of the top things for me. Right, can you top that, Nikki? Well, Arrow said uh, enjoying soda less. Hasn't had that in a while. So yeah. soda's true. It's just not as funny anymore. I'm going to do a controversial one. Uh-huh. You ready? More controversial than rain. It is. And I love them to pieces, but I enjoy my dogs less. What? Oh, my I goodness. Because there's so much work and there's so many of them and uh. there's so much effort to them that I think I remember dogs and pets being more fun when you were younger. That is true. I feel like when you were a little kid, like you didn't have all the responsibility yeah, the and so they were just like a fun thing to get them right it was because there's a teacher responsibility teach you care for but something realistically you weren't actually ever taking care of them. exactly what your parents said is always true They're like if you get a dog i'm gonna be one taking care of it and that's what happens and every again, single time i love them but when i get a break from them like if i if they go boarding or something because i go out of town mm. it's just like wow this is what it's like without them <laughs> Cinnamon, Sorry, sugar. cinnamon, sugar, and roll up. Mommy Cover loves your ears. you, but sometimes you make me tired. Dang, that is controversial. <laughs> that is crazy. So, That's all uh, I have. After they've, uh, you know, they've moved along, you going to get new dogs then? And then I go through the same cycle. I'm like, no, I don't want you, any more you dogs. You miss them, though. And then I miss having a dog. Mm, but maybe this and then time she you... gets six more. <laughs> yeah. They just keep multiplying somehow. I can't say no to them. <laughs> Well, text in if you got a good one, something you're liking less as you get older, as you grow up. 8772 Radio U. The Riot with Hudson and Nikki on Radio U. Radio U. 8772 Radio U. Text in if you can think of something that uh, you used to like a lot more, but now I, as you've grown up, as you've aged a little bit. <laughs> no one's grown up. <laughs> We've grown I've up. What are you grown talking about? Up. Ah, you're the one who's like, rain. <laughs> <laughs> the weather. <laughs> Coldness. Oh, but my gosh. I say it brought up a good point, though. Is uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he didn't bring it up. But he says he doesn't like the rain as much as he did when he was a kid. He hates it now. But there's nothing older than going, man, I really wish it would, you know, glad you we finally got this rain. Even if you're not a farmer, sure. you're just a random person. Man, I wish we could get some rain in here. That does that sound. Sounds, that's what D said. That she sounds, texted in. Yeah, that sounds like that's a grown-up thing to say. Doesn't that it? is a grown-up thing to say. Mike was also saying uh, enjoying less now. Is anything news and TV relation, related? Like, just you can't enjoy it. Yeah, I've sensed, sensed that with you, Mickey. Uh, me? <laughs> I don't watch <laughs> so anything you don't anymore. Watch anything, yeah. uh, Trent says social media, everything's just getting pared down. So even though you still use social media, like, I mean, we're not dumping it, but you're just... Uh, re- leaving lots of different options and paring it down to using one or two. Yeah, that's actually, that's probably true. I feel like I enj- I still enjoy it, but it depends. You Not know? as fun. Yeah. Uh, Andy says, anything with a lot of hype that requires me to stand in a long line. Mm. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Standing in lines is the worst. Oh, the last you long feel line. Like... I remember I had my mom stand in it. <laughs> no, you <laughs> did. Mom. She stand in it for me. Doesn't she have like hip things and stuff? That was a while ago. Oh, she was five. Before the hip things? Before those things. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's them. why she has the yeah, hip things. Is because them. you made her stand in line. Oh, that's it. That's horrible. And then, let's move past that. Uh, <laughs> Frank says, working, politics, and people. Mm, <laughs> don't mm, care as much. Good choice. I don't know that I ever enjoyed liking work that much. Uh, I ever enjoyed work that much. But uh, as you get older, yeah, it, does, it just gets harder. It gets harder to wake up every day, doesn't it? I was thinking... So uh, depressing to hear. I saw, I think Kendall texted in, and I think a few other people have alluded to this, that uh, you like loud... People say a lot of loud parties or bars or concerts or whatever, and uh, I was thinking concerts, and that this is one I can't figure out because it's not the loudness. Yeah. I know that is an old thing to say. To you be think like, it's the fun? Oh, it's too loud. But I don't know. I just like... Uh, I remember going to like see bands like August Burns Red and the Devil Wears Brown and stuff like metal bands and I would go and I'd be right up in the front and you'd go to festivals you'd like sit up at the front like all day and now I would never do that you I mean I'd still go to, to concerts and have a, a like a good time 
but it's definitely not the way I used to live for concerts when I was, uh, you know, a little bit younger. Well, Susanna, this one's a good one. It says, uh, I don't care about free things as much. I don't have more money now than I used to, but I still hate feeling obligated to chase after all the free things. Mm, like on your birthday, yeah. you yeah. just don't care anymore. I think I just feel a little stupid. Or the McDonald's fries. Or hey, the those Wendy's are worth fries. it. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. The McDonald's app, it's worth it. I don't know. And it's weird, too, because free stuff should feel more special now because it's more rare. Yeah. But I think... Maybe as we grow up, we know, we see through the ruse that is the free stuff that it's, it's just, all just it's not, to get you to buy them. something else. Yeah. I haven't seen it through it yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Still old enough that. yet. Rachel's in Texas. I love hers. Being sick. Is a lot oh. less enjoyable when you're living it on your own. It is tougher when you get out and when you're getting older. Yeah, that's for sure. There's no lonelier feeling than when you're living by yourself and you're sick and yeah. you're just laying you in your bed. You have a roommate. I have a roommate, but it's not the same. You know, he's not going to cater to my every woman need like my mother would. <laughs> like, there's no way that my my roommate's going to do anything for me. If I'm so, feeling sick, he's like, ah, oh, you're you're not even that bad. So, Where my mom was like, can I make you something? You know, yeah. when you're a little kid, it's not the same it's when you're an adult. Point. I feel like a lot of these are falling back on the things that our moms did for us and yeah, now we don't precisely. like to do well, them anymore i saw another person text in about uh or a few people actually about going to the store and shopping yeah I remember when you were a kid uh especially like a teenager and you were going to the store and like there was a re like if you were going either there was there was a reason right because you could you had the option of not going with your mom but then it was like oh well, you wanted I to could, get a toy yeah i could get a toy i could get a game i could get snacks and now I guess it's probably just because you have to spend your own money on it. But I it's, still get it's excited. Not as fun. You still, yeah. I love going to the store. I love going shopping. I don't know. You get older. So eventually, Isaiah, you'll hit this point. It starts to feel like a chore to go to the grocery it store. I think so. I like, see, I like going down the aisles and just seeing what I can find. Then how come you never do it and you just eat out all the time? Because I'm, a, I'm, I'm lazy. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Driving over there. Hey, that's another topic, and yeah. you don't need to bring it up yeah, right now, sure. right? Uh, another one that I have was I I did like not even when I was little, but a couple years ago when I was younger, I loved like meeting new people. That was like a thing that I really liked, but now I hate meeting new people. That's because you're tired of dating. Like, and I think too, I think I hate meeting people that like I just like know this might be the only time I meet them. Oh yeah. And so then you like put in a lot of effort to get to know them and stuff, and I hate doing that. Aww. I really hate doing that. I think. I think, uh, yeah, when you're younger, or now, like, you have enough friends. Yeah, like, I have my friends. I don't want new friends. And for me, I have enough. <laughs> I have, don't have many friends. Yeah. But I, so I know that if I meet somebody new, it's not going to work out. We I'm not going to add them to the rotation. You sound like you're dating awesome. now. Yeah, I'm not going to like, add a new friend to the rotation at I this point I might meet somebody new, but I know it will never work. <laughs> Yes, I've accepted it. Uh, well, I've accepted. I think there's quite a few things. Now that you get warmed up, there's a lot more that we realize we don't want to do anymore. Brushing right. our teeth. <laughs> Another one of the many things as you get older Added you just to don't want to do. Seems like life just keeps getting worse. <laughs> when we talk about it like this. <laughs> it's the perfect way to end that. <laughs> Brushing your hair. Thanks for watching The Worst of the Riot. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, subscribe, and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more Riot. riot.